everyone, long time no see. You're probably wondering where I've been and I haven't actually been anywhere. If you follow me on Snapchat, you'll have seen how much of a nightmare I've had recently. I've been trying to film videos and I've been feeling quite uninspired. I filmed a couple and I really wasn't happy with them, so I thought I'm not gonna put them up. And then one of my soft boxes broke, which is a complete nightmare if you film YouTube videos and you live in the UK. It took me quite a while to decide if I wanted to replace it or buy a ring light. So I did a lot of research into that. I now have a ring light, which I'm filming with on its own. So do let me know if the lighting's a little bit different or if it looks a bit weird. I'm still trying to get used to using it. But anywho, moving swiftly along, you may remember that I bought this Style Pro Makeup Brush Cleaner and Dryer at Olympia Beauty almost three months ago, back in October. And I actually can't believe I've had this sitting in my house for three months. I mean, this is like one of the best inventions ever. If you're a makeup artist or just a makeup enthusiast, someone that owns a lot of brushes, this is a revelation and I just cannot believe it's been three months and I haven't used this. I'm going to be using both of these together today just to see how well it works and I'm not going to lie, I really, really, really want to like this as much as other people do because I've heard amazing things and I think this is just life changing. The makeup industry has needed something like this for a very, very long time. But I'm going to get on with the unboxing and show you what I've got here. So I haven't actually read the manual so please forgive me if I don't know the actual words for these things. Um, but first of all, I have the brush cleaner, which doesn't come with the package. You can buy it separately. But I have also heard that you don't actually need to buy this. So um, I think you can use alternative cleansers. But seeing as I have it, I am going to use it with this. Um, you also get the glass vase. I want to call it a vase, but it's just a glass bowl. Um, and the splash guard. These two come separately, but I've managed to fit mine together. I'm just going to leave it like this. The reason that they've used a glass bowl instead of plastic is for hygiene reasons. Because I think that the foundation or whatever makes up you wear won't stick to the glass how it would to plastic so I think this is a really good idea you just obviously have to be careful if you're going to be carrying it around so that you don't break it so it also comes with eight colors and this is just a little stand that holds all of them so this is what it looks like this is what you attach your brushes to and they're all different sizes obviously and I think this stand is really useful so that you don't lose them the next part is called the spindle this is a bit that actually twists round and round and it takes two batteries it also comes with two batteries which which is just brilliant because I find that every time you buy something gadgety it never comes with batteries and you spend days looking for batteries and you always forget to pick them up from the shop so this is just really handy. Now it also comes with this white, I think this is called a spindle, this really confused me when I first opened it because I have seen a few reviews on YouTube before and I think the old ones came with a black and a white one that were different sizes but now they've just made one um, which is universal so I think this is actually really handy. I feel like if you had two of these you've got way more chance of losing one but I know that this attaches to the collar. I'm just going to go away and put the batteries in and and assemble all of my parts. I'll show you how I did it because I have got a lot of dirty brushes. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit embarrassed to say that some of these brushes, maybe like one or two, are left over from Halloween just because that's around the time that I bought the brush cleaner and my plan was to use it. So I just thought rather than me spending hours scrubbing away at the sink, I would just save it for this video. So I'm going to go and assemble all the parts and I'll be right back. As you can see, my brush is quite filthy. So what I'm going to do, take my collars and try and fit the brush in. It needs to be a snug fit. So for example, this collar wouldn't be very good. I think this is definitely the next best one. It should work in a way that once I've inserted the brush in, if I pull it out, it removes the collar with it. So I know that this is the best fit for it. Then all I do is take this white thing and push it through here, like so, so it's secure all the way. And then you attach this spindle. So once you hear it click, apparently it's in properly. Then I'm going to take my glass bowl. And I'm just going to pour the tiniest amount of liquid in there. That should do it. It says that the level of the solution shouldn't be more than half the length of your bristle. So I've just poured the tiniest amount in. I'm kind of eyeballing it, so I'm really hoping it's right. Then what you do is you take the brush and apparently you just dunk it in like this. What you want to do is just sort of get the whole brush wet. This just helps to loosen any makeup that's in here. And then you just switch this on. And you lift it up for 10 seconds just to dry it. Oh my god. 
oh my god i'm so impressed with that that is completely dry it does look like there's a tiny bit of product still left on the brush but i mean it feels completely fine as you can see, there's absolutely no product on the brush. I cannot explain how impressed I am. This would normally take about 24 hours to dry. This is amazing. Just look at this. Oh my God, I'm gonna try another brush just to show you. Okay, so my first observation is that yes, it is amazing. My brush is completely dry. It feels really clean. Um, maybe this wasn't the best brush to start off with because I feel like when I've cleaned it in the past before as well, it still does look quite dirty. Um, and I'm gonna use it on a different brush just to show you. But the first thing I noticed was the colour was a complete nightmare to take off in fact in fact it wasn't just the colour it was this part too I had to use my teeth to pull this part out I don't know if it's because I pushed it in too far or maybe it's because this brush obviously gets fatter as it goes along it's not just one thickness all the way through so that could have been why but that really hurt my fingers trying to get this off and it almost feels like a bit of an arm workout doing that but don't worry I'm about to try it with a different brush just because I am determined to love this. I will fall in love with this. It's gonna save me a lot of time and it will be worth it. I'm actually now gonna move on to the dirtiest brush of them all. And this is neon pink. I actually remember this is the pink from the Urban Decay Electric palette and I know how difficult that is to get out. So once again, I'm to try and find the color. There you go. This might actually be a bit Oh no, it's still quite difficult to remove just because this brush is the same thickness all the way through. So let's give this a go. Dunk it in for a few seconds. Okay, so this brush is dry, but it's still quite pink. Let me see. So there is definitely no product on it and it is completely dry. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, I know that this pink eyeshadow does stain, but I think I'm just gonna give it another bash just to see and hopefully this doesn't damage the brush. What I might do is go away and clean this brush with isopropyl alcohol, which is how I normally wash my smaller brushes. Um, I just wanna see if that removes the pink staining. But it's definitely dry, it's definitely clean, there's no more product. I've wiped it on a white piece of kitchen roll, and there's absolutely no pink coming off it whatsoever. So it really does work. I'm just gonna do another brush and I'll come back. The next brush I'm gonna try is my Sigma F80. I don't really use foundation brushes anymore, I just use sponges, but for the purpose of this, I've been using this for the past week, and I do find this brush very difficult to wash because it's so dense. I feel like I'm sat by the sink for ages, like literally about half an hour, and even then it isn't properly clean. But if this cleans this, then I will be so amazed. I'm also a little bit worried because this is my favourite foundation brush, so I don't want to ruin it, but I think it'll be fine. Oh, I can see a lot of brown coming off this one. Oh my god god oh my god i don't think my brush has looked this clean in a very very long time okay so there is a tiny bit of residue still left on this brush i was kind of expecting that because this is what happens to me when i normally wash this brush and um, i'm gonna go in again okay so i'm back and i've cleaned quite a range of different brushes here i wanted to do one of like every type just to show you how well it works so first of all, you saw the powder and this brush. I do think this contour brush is an exception just because if you have the Urban Decay Electric Palette, you will know that the pink shade stains your eyelids for at least 24 hours. At least it does on me, and I've heard a few other people saying that too. So even though this brush is pink, it is actually really clean. There's no residue left on it whatsoever. And it's the same with this powder brush. For some reason, it still looks a little bit dirty, and I don't know why that is. But you've already seen these two, so I'm just gonna move on to the ones that I did off camera first of all I did my bronzer brush if you wear bronzer you know how difficult it is to wash these and in fact this brush isn't that great it's the Mac 1 2 I think it's the 129 mine's really old so the writing's kind of rubbed off but this sheds like crazy and so it's so difficult to wash even when I got my bronzer on I end up with little black hairs all over my face and do you know what this brush probably came up best out of the entire lot it's completely dry, no product on it whatsoever. And in fact, if it wasn't for the writing that's rubbed off on the handle, I would say this looks almost brand new. So, so impressed with this. And it was the same for my Real Technique setting brush. It's perfectly clean, 
looks really good and um, I use this for concealer and setting powder so it tends to get very very dirty and I'm really impressed with how this one's come out next I thought I would do this brush I mean I had to kind of pinch it at the sides to get it into the bowl and do you know what this is the exact shape that it was I just I just really wanted to see how this brush would spray out and do all the rest of it I then tried my MAC 217 blending brush now I had to do this twice because the first time round it didn't really clean it very well and the second time round I think that was my fault I didn't really dry it for very long but I mean there's no product on it it's dry now and yeah it's great I mean, it's not obviously white because I've had this years and I've used it a lot so it doesn't look like it's brand new but yeah this is completely dry perfect condition I think it looks great I also tried my Spectrum A18 brush Again, I just wanted to see how it would work on a flat shader brush. I use this with my Bobbi Brown corrector, and if you haven't tried that, it is like a very, very thick concealer. So I find that if I go for longer than a week without washing it, and I've obviously worn makeup every single day, it gets very caked up. It's quite difficult to wash, and do you know what? This looks as good as new. I'm very, very happy with it. Last but not least, this was just a bit of an experiment again. I wanted to try my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow brush. This is in number 14. Obviously, this, I had to be quite careful getting the spoolie in. And I feel like I took a little bit of a risk using this because I have about 10 angled brow brushes and they're all rubbish in comparison to this. It did take me two attempts to get all the gunk off it. I haven't actually washed this for probably over two weeks. There's been so much product on this that it's made the brush so much thicker than it is and it's just really hard. So this desperately needed washing. It did take two attempts. It didn't really dry properly, but I mean, the brush is so tiny that it doesn't really take a lot of drying time anyway. So I was actually really happy with how this turned out. Even though it took me two goes, if you use eyebrow pomade or gel, you will know how difficult it is to clean your brushes. And I'm definitely more than happy to use this in the machine twice. It just saves so much time. So even though some of my brushes, like the Sigma F80, didn't quite come up perfect, I still think the Style Pro Brush Cleaner and Dryer is a genius product. I just think this is absolutely amazing. It costs £50, it doesn't come with the brush cleanser, but like I said, I am going to play around with other cleansers because I do need to find an affordable alternative because I think, in fact, I know that I'm going to go through this so quickly and I honestly cannot afford to keep topping up on this bottle. But yeah, like I said, this is £50. It is expensive, but the way I see it is I could spend two hours every Sunday evening, two or three hours sometimes, bent over the bathroom sink, scrubbing away at my brushes, or I could just spend £50 as a one-off and then just spend half an hour every week. I, I just feel like time is so important and I don't think £50 is a lot of money to spend if it means I save about an hour and a half to two hours every week. Um, I definitely think it's worth it. I know that all of my brushes aren't completely clean, but I'm so, so happy with the result. But anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed my first impressions and my review. If you would like me to do a blog post or a video trying out different brush cleaners with the Style Pro, then please do leave me a comment down below but I really hope you enjoyed this video please do hit that subscribe button and help me get to 3,000 subscribers before Christmas that would mean so much to me if you like these reviews that I do then please do leave me a comment down below especially for something else that you'd like me to review please don't forget to also give this video a thumbs up but thank you for watching and I'll see you soon bye